Hey guys, welcome back to Wildly Wandering, where you join us on this video on our trip to Hamilton Island. So we flew from Melbourne to Sydney, and then from Sydney up to Hamilton Island. Hamilton Island forms part of the Whitsunday Islands, and as of 2006, had a population of around 1,500 people. The flight from Sydney was around two hours, and you land at Great Barrier Reef Airport, one of the smallest airports I've ever landed at. As you can see, very little going on at the check-in area in Hamilton Island. This is obviously when we returned, and there's no stands. It's just you walk straight out to the aeroplane on the apron, which is on the tarmac. So, you may have seen our video of where we stayed, which was the Beach Club Hotel, and that's just over to your right here. But this is one of the main kind of hotel strips, if you like, and this is just giving you some information on the various kids' activities that are going on, as well as the souvenir shop, and you can see one of the hotels in the back on the right-hand screen, the palm bungalows on the right-hand side, and then the biggest hotel on the island, the Reef View Hotel. At the start of the previous clip, if you'd have seen the sign, you'd have seen that there was a sign heading on the right hand side to the resort centre. And that's where we are now. So anybody that's staying on the island has access to the resort centre. There's a few shops here, there's also a beauty salon, and this is where your main pool area is also known as the main pool and island bar and anyone staying on the island can visit this and it's free of charge obviously the bar isn't free of charge this is where you can also walk out onto cat's eye beach and pick up some of the water sport activities if you're not staying in somewhere like the beach club hotel the building right at the back of the pool in front of you is kokachu which is one of the island restaurants so then just walking back through the resort centre, you'll see as we go up and then down the steps that there is a bus. This is the Island Shuttle, which is free, and there's a couple of different stops and it goes around the majority of the island. Outside the front of the resort centre, there's a few extra shops here, an art gallery and an additional swimwear shop as well. So just talking about how you get around the island, Certain resorts and bungalows and villas will come with their own golf buggy, so you'll see a few different designs of buggies. Otherwise, the white ones are predominantly hired from the buggy hire centre. At the time of recording, we had a buggy for five days, and it cost us around $450. So here we are, just driving out of the Beach Cup Hotel, and then heading towards the northeast of the island, which is where the airport is. So what you'll see on the right hand side is we're going to go up past the airport and then past some of the staff accommodation as well, all the way up to the far westerly point on the island, which is where the ATV hire is. As with everywhere in Queensland, when the weather comes in, it really does come in hard as you can see, but otherwise getting around in these buggies is super easy. So now we're just leaving Hamilton Island Wildlife Park and we'll do another review on that one shortly. We'll put a notice on this video so you can go and watch that as well. But obviously it goes without saying, if you do like this video, then please like the channel and subscribe so that we can make sure we're bringing you more content that you're enjoying. So we're heading north and we've kind of gone over one of the main hills. We're heading down into Marina Village. As we turn left at this crossroads, this is where you're going to head up and get to the post office, but if we keep going as we are now, you get up to the local island IGA. So on the subject of how you charge your golf buggies, you'll find lots of spare power points on the island, at hotels or in your villas, and charging your buggy at the resorts is free of charge. So just driving back through, on the left hand side you've got the marina and this is Marina Village. So there's some shops and restaurants on the right hand side, obviously lots of buggy parking wherever you want. On the left hand side we just passed Romano's and another restaurant. And then we've got here the bakery on the right hand side as well as Captain's which was a cocktail bar we think that was closed when we were there.
As you're driving your buggy through Marina Village, you'll notice that a speed limit comes into force and that automatically slows the hired buggies down to the 10 kilometers an hour maximum speed limit. From this marina is also where you'll pick up the jet ski adventures that you can see in front of me on the screen. Otherwise you can also hire Alani and a few other chartered yachts as well. So this is just looking back from outside captains, so from this main kind of, one of the main buggy car parking areas on the street, to the fish and chip shop. But now we're back in the buggy and we're continuing to head up now through Marina Village into an area known as One Tree Hill. As we go up, you will have noticed a strange building on the left hand side, that was the Yacht Club where the Bommy restaurant is. But this is where you're gonna go up and you're gonna start getting up to different um, hired villas and different kind of complexes. So you can see some of the villas on the left and right hand side as we go up here. And One Tree Hill is a really popular area uh, towards the evenings because of the bar that we're going to get to at the top. One thing to note is that the driving on the island is governed by Queensland law, so you can get done for drink driving, but also there is a curfew on driving the buggies so that you can't use them too late in the evening and there's a set time in the morning that you can start driving them. So this is on the way up to One Tree Hill and this view looks back across to Cat's Eye Beach. You can see the Reef View Hotel on the right hand side and in front of that is the Beach Club where we stayed. We actually took our bottle of champagne up to the lookout one evening and sat there and had a couple of drinks whilst we looked at the wildlife. So these are just some bats that you can see pretty much every evening. And whilst we didn't do it, the big tall mountain on the left hand side there is Passage Peak, which is over 20 kilometers of walking tracks. Now we're just continuing to go up higher now, up to One Tree Hill itself, which is also where the lookout and cafe is. And the cafe opens at three o'clock in the afternoon and has some fantastic views, and I believe is open until seven o'clock in the evening. At the cafe, you can get a mix of alcoholic drinks as well as some things like charcuterie boards, etc. And this is the view from one of the tables that we were sitting at. So now we're just going to get back in the buggy and we're going to continue heading towards the east of the island down this hill, which takes you to an area where the deluxe and luxury holiday homes are, but also takes you to Qualia. One of the things to note about Qualia is it's a completely gated complex and one of the staff in our hotel explained that even though we were staying in the beach club, they themselves were not allowed to go into Qualia unless there was a particular reason. We managed to get into Qualia for dinner. It's not always possible as a non-guest of Qualia and would absolutely recommend that you do. So Qualia is just there on the left-hand side and now we're just completing the circle to head back up towards one Tree Hill and then head back down into Marina Village. One of the things that you can obviously see here is that it's very quick to get around Hamilton Island even on these buggies. You're no more than 10 minutes from anywhere. It's also extremely easy to navigate by yourself. There are signs in a lot of places so even if you don't have signal there's absolutely no need for a sat nav. Just away you go, drive, and at some point you will absolutely end up where you expect it to be anyway. If you haven't already seen it then do go and check out our video of the Beach Club Resort but we will also be doing a food tour and an overall review of Hamilton Island as well. So here is Bommy which is at the Yacht Club, this is one of the restaurants. It was closed on the day that we were there for a private function but giving you lovely views back over the marina and then just as we head back into Marina Village 
we then stop at the tavern for lunch which was brilliant and again as I said we'll do a video on the food across the island. Just to give you some information this is Qualia, as I said we managed to get in here for dinner one night, it's not always possible, if you can I suggest you try and give it a go. And the last video that you're going to see in a second is just Qualia from our trip over to Whitehaven Beach by boat, which again we'll do a video of shortly. So hope you enjoy it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for the rest of our Australian adventures.